Iowa debacle all began with the traditional Des Moines Register poll being shut down after pollsters were accused of improper questioning. While Las Vegas bookies put Bernie Sanders ahead as the Miami Herald reported three major sports books, my bookie Bovada and Bet Online, all have Sanders established as the chalk to win the Democratic Iowa caucus balloting. The DNC was clearly buckling at the thought of Bernie Sanders making Joe Biden look like a clown at the Oracle of Presidential Elections, the Iowa caucus. Okay, <laughs> the, idea the, the idea of the caucus itself has failed to meet the viability threshold because we've all been saying the whole time, why Iowa in the first place? It's 90% white. You know, when you have, have a, a party as diverse as this to be in a state that's not diverse is terrible. And as CNN and Van Jones pushed the divide and conquer narrative, the votes weren't coming in. What is going on? We have mentioned in 2016, by this point, basically 90 percent plus of the vote was in. In every other modern Iowa Democratic caucus, the victory speeches had already been delivered. I can tell you the Iowa Democratic Party now isn't saying anything. We have reached out to them. We have asked them, are you having any particular issues? If you are having any particular issues, what are those issues? Do you have an ETA on when you will begin releasing results? No answer, no answer, no answer. We asked them if they would put a communications representative on the air to explain what's going on. No answer to that either. As you can see, we've been showing scenes from these precinct caucus sites around the state. You now have multiple precinct caucus sites where you've got cameras that are emptied out right now. They've had the vote. They've had the multiple rounds. Folks have left. There are tabulations that clearly have taken place in those precincts, and yet nothing has been reported out statewide at this point. Which is oh the fact that he's now waiting in the wings, waiting in Super Tuesday, uh, potentially to... Was it the app, who some reported reset itself, or as NBC reported, the Iowa Democratic Party said Tuesday that its new app, meant to speed up the reporting of caucus results, suffered from a coding issue that instead led to a significant delay in counting and reporting results. CNN's Wolf Blitzer had to stick his nose in it, only adding to the fair election mockery unfolding in Iowa. Sean, have you gotten any explanation at all of, uh, as to what's going on? No, I have not. No. Uh, uh, I'm just waiting on hold and uh, doing my best to report the results from my precinct. What are you hearing? I know you're listening to a conversation uh, from the Iowa... Uh, Democratic Party. Um, so, this is a real coincidence, Wolf. I just got off hold just now. So I've got to get off the phone to report the results. All right. Uh, go ahead. Report your results. Can we listen in as you report them, Sean? Yep. All right. Cool. Let's listen. All right. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hello. They hung up on me. <laughs> they hung up on me. Okay, I've got to get back in line on hold. Oh. Um, they just hung up. It's uh, so frustrating indeed. Uh, Sean, uh, we're going to stay in close touch with you. Sean Sebastian from Story County out in Iowa, a precinct secretary. Just wanted to report the results of the caucus there. And uh, clearly for an hour he was on hold, finally got through. And then all of a sudden, uh, not happening now. The firm named Shadow, which was paid by both the Iowa Democratic Party and Pete Buttigieg's campaign, reportedly developed the app said to be responsible for the delayed election results in the Iowa caucus. And even though there were no results whatsoever, Pete Buttigieg, a financer of the app in question, declared himself victorious, taking the opportunity to bask in his own delusions. And tonight... Iowa chose a new path. From river to river, in churches and community centers and high school gyms, you joined your neighbors to say that the time has come to turn the page and open up a new chapter in the American story. But the big winner of the night was actually President Trump, who won a speedy victory as the New York Times had reported that President Trump netted over 26,000 votes or 96.8% of all those cast. The big question, other than where are the votes, was how was the DNC capable of screwing up or worse, manipulating something as simple and transparent as the Iowa caucus? One thing is clear, the Democrats have zero respect or patience for maintaining the responsibility to honor the vote of the people. Are they even fit to carry on as a political party within the republic? 
John Bound reporting. <laughs>